Hello, this is Mark Tucker continuing a multi-part tutorial series on APL components, especially for viewers of the Dabble Lab channel. In this video, we'll explore the simple but essential frame component. If you want to follow along in APL Ninja, look for the project link in the description. Let's do it. Notice here that we're in the main template section of our project, and we have our root container that we've learned about in the previous video and that's going to take uh, up the whole viewport. There are five uh, child uh, components that are underneath this, campaign, this container, so let's look at the first one. This is a frame component, and it's going to take up the whole viewport, 100% relative height and width, and um, it's going to be in the absolute position, so that's going to put it in the background, so any of the other child components that are a child of this root container will appear over top of it, and the color is set to four. If we go up here to our resource section under colors, color four is gonna be a shade of gray. So let's go ahead and uh, show this component. So you notice now the background is gray. So this shows you, you know, some of the, you know, right out of the start, some of the basic uh, parts or properties of a frame component. So the type is set to frame. Um, it has a height and width because it is a child of the container um, position as well, and then background color. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this next, there's going to be four rows of uh, components that we're going to show. So here's another container component that's laying things out in a row. And the first one is a, is a frame. So let's go ahead and display this row. What you'll notice is that uh, on a frame component, you can specify a height, a width, you can specify um, a color, and uh, in this case, the color is uh, color one. So here's this first one, color one. Here's the second um, component, and it's got a border radius sent to 20 uh, display independent pixels compared to the height and width, which is set to 120. Uh, display independent pixels. So with a 20 dp border radius, you get some slight rounded corners here. When you go ahead and change that to 40 uh, dp, then you get more rounding. And you notice on this last one where it's set to 60 dp, which is half of the width and height, and so you get a circle. So just by uh, affecting the border radius and uh, the you know the width and height then you can you know make some changes so for example um, like this first one you know you don't have to have it be a square you can you know obviously say oh this is more of a rectangle um, this uh, you know horizontal or a rectangle uh, vertical so you know you can change the way that the frame looks a little bit based on the height and width and and the border uh, let's go ahead and send this back. You can also set individual uh, you know, properties. So instead of setting all of the border radius um, items to be the same, you could uh, you know, set the, the top left here and you can set the, you know, the bottom right. Um, so you can start you know, playing around with that, uh, changing the, the, the radius. In this case, that's you know, 20. This is what it would look like if it was uh, set to zero. So you have different things that you can uh, you know, play around with. You can also set, um, let's go ahead and set this back to to be like a circle. And then by playing with the, the width, for example, by making uh, the width twice the height, then you can make it look like a pill. So different things that you can do. Uh, let's talk a little bit about color because we're gonna. There's two properties here uh, on a frame that have to do with color. The first one is background color, and that is set to color one right now. So if you go back up to our resource section, um, you can see that we've set the color to red. Uh, you can also set the color based on uh, hex value. So like uh, F00 is also red. That's the same as you know, FF. 0, 0, 0, 0. Um, so that's also red. You can supply an alpha value as this last value. So um, 
you know, FF is, uh, is visible, 00, zero is for fully transparent, and then you can do, you know, values like CC, mostly there, 2, 2, uh, mostly gone, you know, bl blending into the background. So those are all different ways that you can um, set the color. Uh, we'll change this back to red. A couple of other ways that set color is you can use, the, you know, like in this case we've used red, but you can also use the keyword transparent. Uh, so that's one thing you can do. There's also an RGB function that you can use. So, uh, you know, 255, 00, zero and uh, let's take out this last component. So this is 100% opacity, or you can set a value from, from 0 to 1. So this is uh, completely transparent, completely visible, and then uh, some decimal uh, portion of that. Um, so you can use RGB or RGBA. They're the same. Um, even if you don't specify the, RG, you know, the alpha value here, you can uh, still use that. The other way that you can use, um, this is the, the HSL uh, formulation. So this is also you know, another way of saying red. Um, so 0, 100%, 50%, and then you could um, you know, once again use SS, SLA or, SLA, or SL, S, HSL, sorry. Um, to define that, and then this last value is always going to be uh, decimal for the alpha. So those are all different ways that you can specify uh, colors. And if you ever get uh, you know, confused, you can go in here to the, the APL frame documentation. You'll see the properties here, and then you can jump into this color property, and it will give you an example of how to do all the different, uh, the different things in there. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and uh, switch back to um, this. So we've talked about how this is going to look. Uh, the next prop, uh, property that we're going to talk about here, uh, this next row, let's show that, um, is we're gonna talk about um, the fact that we can set a border. So you can set a border color and a uh, border width here. So you'll notice on this first one, it's just the same as the one above it, but now we've specified a border color and a border width. And you can, um, once again, specify the, the border radius, and as the border radius changes, then it will um, you know, look different. So that's all that's different on this next row is the fact that we're setting border width uh, and border color. This next row, we're gonna take a look at this one. So now we see um, a little bit more, we've just changed the color of it so it's a little bit different, but what we've added here is the fact that a frame component can have a single child uh, component. Um, and in this case, it's a text. And so we've said that the text is gonna take 100% of the width and height of its parent frame component, which is set to 120 dp. And we've specified what the text is, and then you can also set a, a horizontal um, you know, text align and a uh, text align vertical value. Um, so you can center the, uh, the text right inside of the component here. So it doesn't matter uh, if you specify it with the word item or the word items and then um, you know, wrap it in an array, uh, but you can only have one of those, uh, one child. Um, if you want to have more than one child inside of a frame as a child, you need this first component would have to be a container, and then inside the container, you can specify multiple uh, child components. But here's an example of what a frame would look like. And then the last thing that we want to talk about on here, this last row is um, specifying... Uh, and an image as the child of the frame. So here we go. So we'll we'll talk about text and, and image uh, components in a future video, but in this case, uh, just the same, we have a fr uh, frame. In this case, we've specified a different width and height. Uh, we've set the you know the border color and width so that we get a nice uh, uh, frame around the 
the image here. Uh, we also have some properties for shadow color, shadow radius, and offset for the shadow. And then here's the, the child to the frame component, uh, the image with its uh, source and, and how it's going to fill in. Um, and we can go ahead and change uh, some things with the, um, like the shadow if we wanted to, we could change it instead to um, something like yellow. So you can you can see you know what the how the the shadow uh, is looking uh, by changing you know by changing that color and and you can play around with that a little bit, but uh, that's really all there is uh, to the frame component. There's not uh, not much there though. It is it's important because it can can frame items or you can create things like uh, buttons or badges um, or otherwise you know background areas or you know, for the whole screen or for sections of the screen. Um, and that can be filled in with uh, text or an image. So container and frame are like two partners that go into business. The frame is visible, always the first one that you see. The container prefers to be in the background making things happen, providing the space for the frame to grow. Both are important to success. In this episode, we learned about the frame component and how it can be a parent to a single component like text and image. In the next video, we'll explore the text component. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please let me know with a like or a share. Thanks again for watching.